driving up there, he tells me about what happened to him two weeks before. He, his, his mom's kind of off doing her own thing, living with grandma. Um, and this guy comes and knocks on their front door and uh, uh, it's their uncle. And the uncle um, asks if the other uncle is in the house. So this little 10 year old boy goes and gets the other uncle that's inside the house. And uh, this 10 year old boy watches as the uncle outside pulls out a handgun and shoots his other uncle in the head. Oh, and it, wow. it's down the street from my house. And what was the hardest of that is that as he's telling me the story, he just starts to kind of laugh. So a 10 year old boy, his reality living down here is that this is the way of life. See, I thank God that I have like my mom had support and people that came alongside her. And I feel like there are so many kids in this area that are at a crossroad and someone has to step up. Someone has to be a friend and advocate um, for these kids and for these moms. And I know single moms are fighters, uh, but the reality is they have a hard life. 69% of kids um, in poverty uh, are raised by single moms. Um, I, I know the stat of like 90% of people who are incarcerated are raised by single moms. Wow. They, have, oh. they face huge Jeez. adversity. Um, so this is kind of how we got to this place. It was that, that reality and my wife and I and our community is like faith, like we have to do something. Like, like we can't just, like for us the scriptures, we can't like deny what like God asked us to do. He has such a heart for the orphan and for the widow mm -hmm. and we gotta do something. Um, so, about, uh, I think in January, we bought this house to some friends and our community. Um, we don't really have it fully figured out, so you're at the ground floor. Uh, we are, we've been mentored by some good uh, people that are coming alongside us to develop this home. So the Anchor House will be opened up in uh, July of this year, and it will house up to four moms and their kids. They can live here up to a year to get on their feet. Uh, we will save 70% of their money. They have to work 40 hours of productivity. So while they're living here, we save their money so they can move forward and move on. Um, and uh, they're given like life skills training, parenting classes, uh, counseling, discipleship, everything. So they're gonna, hopefully this will be like a stepping stone for to change the cycle of poverty for these families. Um, one mom I just met with last week that is moving in. She's nine months pregnant. She's gonna have a baby in any day now. And uh, she tells me that she's just beyond excited that because she's just hoping that her daughter has a better chance than she did. Mm -hmm. She is gonna be a single mom. She was raised by a single mom when she when, when the mom had her when she was 13. So it was just a reality, right? So because of you guys, because of the community who's coming alongside, like, we can't do this. Like, but because of you guys coming along, I'm like, I'm humble and thankful that you guys are like here coming alongside us because like, it takes a village. It takes a village to raise my crazy family and my kids. It's gonna take a village to change like families and let the legacy of these kids and these, these, these moms. So like, thank you guys so much for what you guys are doing. Uh, I'm really just, Honor that you're a part of this stuff.